delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Pagomenos where they are today. Philippines advancing in the challenge of distance learning, bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deb and TV. Tarana. Welcome to Lantau Compre. This is your teacher buddy, Teacher Vladi. Today, we will continue our fit expedition at the comfort of your home. Did you have a hard time exercising during the quarantine period? Have you tracked down your weight before and after the lockdown? Who is your fit inspiration? What made you admire him or her? Make sure that you have a pen and a paper for you to answer this question. Hello, grade 11 learners. This is Health Optimizing Physical Education 1. Now, we look back to move forward. Let us review key concepts starting on page 5 of your modules. You were made aware of the importance of fitness in every activity you perform. Physical fitness is the ability of the individual to perform one's daily tasks with vigor and alertness that has ample energy in case of emergency. You also learned that physical fitness is a fusion of health fitness and body fitness. The former is the body's ability to fight off diseases. The latter is our ability to do strenuous physical activities and not getting tired too easily. Moreover, it is composed of the following components. Despite all the wonders of being physically fit, there are times when we are lazy. You might have experienced one of the barriers which left you demotivated. Lastly, we learn how vital proper nutrition is in achieving our fitness goals. Hence, we shouldn't just fuel our body with healthful food, but also incorporate regular exercise. For always, exercise and nutrition work together for an improved physical performance. Uncle Benjamin Franklin so eloquently said, Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember, involve me, and I learn. Guys, let's move a little farther to reach our fit destination. It's time for the hands-on activities. At this point, you are now going to undertake the depth initiated health-related fitness test. Remember to always observe the safety and health protocols before giving it a go. Follow the procedures in taking a physical test. Wear appropriate attire. Do warm-up exercises. Observe safety in performing the activities.
You may wish to open page 9 of your modules to stay on track. To be able to know your health-related fitness test result, you will need to perform various tasks. Each task signifies the components of health-related fitness. First, let us try to determine your body composition. It is the relative amount of fat and fat-free mass. Knowing our body mass composition is important because it will reveal one thing. Our vulnerability of risk level to cardiovascular diseases, especially during this quarantine season. To do it, we need to measure the amount of fat and muscle mass in our body composition. How then do we determine your risk level? Through the body mass index or the BMI identification. Here's how. At this point, let us determine your BMI by getting your weight and height. You may want to do it with a partner or do it alone. Weight refers to the heaviness of a person. To determine your weight, you simply need a weighing or bathroom scale calibrated properly. For the tester, make sure to wear light clothing before weighing. On bare feet, stand erect, and still with weight evenly distributed on the center of the scale. For partner, before the start of weighing, adjust the scale to zero. Then, record the score in kilogram. For the scoring, record the body mass to the nearest 0.5 kilogram. Now that you have recorded your weight, let's now determine your height. Height is the distance between the feet on the floor to the top of the head in standing position. You'll be needing the following materials to measure your height. For the tester, first, stand erect on bare feet with heels, buttocks, and shoulders. Press them against the wall where tape measure is attached. For the partner, place the L square against the wall with a base at the top of the next head of the person being tested. Make sure that the L square when placed on the head of the student is straight and parallel to the floor. Record the score in meters. Record the standing height to nearest 0.1 cm. 1 meter equals 100 cm. Now that you have the data, you can now compute your BMI and identify your classification. I will give you 10 seconds to do it. And your time starts now. Your time has elapsed. If you think we're done, well, we've only just begun to live. For your next fitness assessment, the zipper test. You'll need a ruler. The purpose, to test the flexibility of the shoulder girdle. Flexibility is the ability of the joints and muscles to move through a full range of motion. For the tester, stand erect, raise your right arm, bend your elbow, and reach your back as far as possible to test the right shoulder Extend your left arm down, and behind your back, bend your elbow up across your back. And try to reach across your fingers over those of your right hand, as if to pull a zipper or scratch between the shoulder blades. To test the left shoulder, repeat the procedures A and B with left hand over the shoulder. For the partner, Observe whether the finger touch or overlap each other. 
If not, measure the gap between the middle fingers of both hands. Record distance in centimeter. For the scoring, record zipper test for the nearest 0.1 centimeter. The table on your screen will help you verify your flexibility results. How did it go? Were you able to stretch stress away with that activity? Good job, guys! You are making the most out of your fitness journey. Next up, let us try to determine your cardiovascular endurance through a 3-minute step test. You need to have the following equipment to start. 12 inches step box, top watch, drum, clopper, clicker, metronome with speaker, or any similar device. Let's begin! For the tester, stand at least one foot away from the step or bench with trunk erect and eyes looking straight ahead. The first step of the sequence should be alternate. At the signal go, step up and down the step bench for 3 minutes at a rate of 96 beats per minute. One step consists of 4 beats, up with the left foot, count 1, up with the right foot, count 2, down with the left foot, count 3, down with the right foot, count 4 for the first sequence. Then up with the right foot, count 1, up with the left foot, count 2, then down with the right foot, count 3, down with the left foot, count 4 for the second sequence. Observe proper breathing. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Immediately after the exercise, stand and locate your pulse and in 5 seconds, get the heart rate. Don't talk while taking the pulse rate. Count the pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. For the partner, as the student assumes the position in front of the step, signal, ready and go. Start the stopwatch for the 3 minute step test. After the test, allow the performer to locate his or her pulse in 5 seconds. Give the signal to count the pulse beat. Let the performer count his or her pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. And for the scoring, record the 60 second heart rate after the activity. Lastly, to complete our health-related fitness test, let us try to determine your strength. Strength is the ability of the muscles to generate force against physical objects. I saved the best exercise for last, push-ups.
you'll need exercise mats or any clean mat to perform this activity. Purpose to measure strength of the upper extremities. For the testers, lie down on the mat, face down in standard push-up position, palms on the mat about shoulder width, fingers pointing forward, and legs straight parallel and slightly apart with the toes supporting the feet. For boys, straighten the arms keeping the back and knees straight, then lower the arms until there is a 90 degree at the elbows. For girls, with knees in the contact with the floor, straightens the arms, keeping the back straight, then lower the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbow. Upper arms are parallel to the floor. Perform as many repetitions as possible. Maintaining a cadence of 20 push-ups per minute. 2 seconds going down and 1 second going up. A maximum of 50 push-ups for boys and 25 push-ups for girls. For the partner, as the tester assumes the position of push-ups, start counting as the tester lower his or her body until he she reaches 90 degree at the elbow. The partner should stand in front of the tester and his or her eyes should be close to the elbow level to the accurated judge the 90 degree bend. Make sure that the performer executes the push-ups in the correct form. The test is terminated when the performer can no longer execute the push-ups in the correct form, is in pain, voluntarily stops, or cadence is Now, record the number of push-ups made. Here's a table to evaluate your performance. There you are, grade 11 learners! That concludes our health-related fitness test. Were you able to perform all the activities you were asked to do? Didn't you feel tired? Hungry? Alive? Was it best done alone or with someone? Thank you so much for the oozing enthusiasm you have shown. Now that you have tested your health-related fitness level through the various tasks, record them. Use the physical fitness test scorecard to lobby your results. In this way, you may be able to set your goals to maintain or achieve. You may consider taking the skills related fitness test to maintain it. At this point, let us pause for a while as you answer this short quiz. Answer is question briefly. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering. Number 1. What is health-related fitness and its component? Number two, what is the formula in computing the body mass index?
And number three, how do we achieve health-related fitness? There you have it, grade 11 learners. That concludes today's episode of Lantau Compre. Thank you for joining me. Your fitness aspirations are made visible today. Great! However, your dream body cannot be achieved overnight. It entails a lot of discipline, courage, and determination. Don't worry, your teacher body Teacher Bloody will be with you along the way. Together, we will progress to fitness.